This is module one, lesson 17. Today's objective was to model the relationship between multiplication and division. Number two, the teacher puts 32 students into groups of four. How many groups does she make? Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. I see that this teacher has 30 stu 32 students. That tells me she has a total of 32 students. Next, she's putting those students into groups of four. When I read that, I know she's not putting them into four groups, but groups of four, which means my size is going to be four. If I know my total, then I must be creating a division problem. This problem tells me that I must draw a tape diagram. So to start my tape diagram, I am going to create an array. I'm going to make rows of four until I get to 32. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Now I'm gonna start again because I'm making this a little messy and I know when I'm making a tape diagram that I'll have to draw lines between my columns. So let's try again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. There's my 32 students. Now I can put a box around them. I divide each column to show how many students will be in a group. You need to label the total on the tape diagram the size on the tape diagram, and the groups. Then you should use this information to write both a division problem with my 32 students being divided into groups of four. Then you should turn that information into a multiplication problem. Number three. The store clerk arranges 24 toothbrushes into four equal rows. How many toothbrushes are in each row? When I look at this information, I see they have 24 toothbrushes. That's my total. They are putting the toothbrushes into four equal rows. Rows are also my groups. So I know my total and I know my groups. If I know the total, I have to do a division problem. I need to figure out how many toothbrushes are in each row. So I will start one, two, three, four. There is a row of four. Then I'm gonna continue. Five, six, seven, eight. Continue this problem, skip counting by fours, until you get to 24. Then finish the division problem, filling in your unknown information. Finally, see if you can turn those numbers into a multiplication problem. Number four, an art teacher has 40 paintbrushes. She divides them equally among her four students. She finds eight more paintbrushes and divides these equally among the students as well. How many paintbrushes does each student receive? Well, the art teacher has 40 paintbrushes, which is my total. She's dividing them between four students. Those are the four students she has, which are her groups. That's what I'm going to start with. 
So I have four students. Student one, student two, student three, and student four. I'm going to divide up the paintbrushes, the 40, amongst those four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Those are the 40 that she has. So when I look at each group, right now, each student is getting 10 paintbrushes. If I look back at my problem, the art teacher finds eight more brushes and divides those up also. So I'm gonna add those eight extra paintbrushes to my groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I look at my groups now, they don't have 10, but 12 paintbrushes each. So we had a total of 40 plus eight, which was actually 48 paintbrushes that the teacher divided between 12, between four students, giving them each 12 paintbrushes.